Hi guys, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can build your own AI assistant on WhatsApp for your business without writing a single line of code. So it is much easy. Uh, I have a demo use case here. So here uh, we're going to uh, do a demo for an Air Airbnb property. If uh, This demo is based on Airbnb property. So here you can see I have a WhatsApp number connected uh, to an AI bot. If I ask something, any questions to this bot, it will fetch the data uh, from this document. This is the document we use to train the AI uh, assistant. So it will only fetch the data from this particular document. Uh, it can generate response. So here you can see, uh, let's ask a specific question with, with, the, with the related to this property like Wi-Fi password. So let's type what is, a, what is the Wi-Fi password. Uh, let's see how it can uh, respond to it. Uh, here you can see we got a response. Uh, this is the data that I have uh, stored in the PDF file. So let's go and ask some other question. Uh, I'm just asking a random question. Like, yes, coffee machine supporter. You can make it your favorite coffee if you have guidance. So, it does understood what exactly the user is asking. Also, as follow up uh, uh, instructions, also it's given from the data that we provided. Uh, now uh, let's ask something little more specific uh, so here we have two questions I just compared both together let's see uh, if it can understand both the information uh, can answer both or not let's see uh, so pets are not allowed on the property and smoking is strictly prohibited inside however there is a designated smoking outside so that's what it's mentioned here smoking is strictly prohibited inside designated smoking areas outside like that see uh, how exactly it can understand the what the user is trying to see and fetch the exact information from the data you provided and train your data so like this if you're planning to build a ai chatbot for your business it can uh, keep running in backend whenever you're not there or outside your business service your ai can handle all the customer related queries so uh, let's have a look at how it looked like in the backend like you know actually let, let me show you what exactly we have built it here let me open this build flow builder we only have one uh, flow uh, here here is you can see there is only one uh, sub flow a main flow we created inside this main flow we have only have two nodes so you can see that uh, with with just just uh, two nodes this entire ai automation is uh, like the entire bot is running and ai chatbot is running with based on these two nodes like how simple it is uh, it, you don't need any need of writing a, a complex coding or complex flow diagram or anything it's just that easy to build uh, this kind of advanced AI chatbots with these two blocks. So uh, before we setting this up, let me uh, show you what exactly you have to uh, create first. First of all, you need to set up an account uh, on uh, on our platform on RapidBot. Once you create a workspace, you will get a seven day free trial. Then next thing is connecting your WhatsApp number. So you can connect, uh, go to WhatsApp cloud here i already have my number connected you will have an option to connect whatsapp cloud you ha you are first time using our product or platform uh, here you can see we have already have tutorial videos if you want you can go there and watch the video um, you can get an idea how to do the integration whatsapp cloud integration then next thing is uh, since we are for the ai part we are using the uh, open ai so go to integration under artificial intelligence you can find open ai so you need to provide your own API key. If you don't have an account with OpenAI, you can sign up. Go to platform.openai.com. Uh, after you create an account, go to dashboard. Uh, from here, you can find the API keys. 
create an API key, go back to our uh, tab integration, uh, paste the API key and you can click on save. If it is all good, uh, no, no issues, you will get a verified uh, message here. It will be verified. Another thing, uh, once it verified, you will get these three options will be uh, uh, available for you. These three options will be available. Uh, other thing, uh, if you go uh, to your settings, if you go to your building, uh, you must be on free trial. If you don't have any credits, I believe this API integration or this open integration will not function. I think it will give you a billing error. So make sure you have, uh, you have some uh, balance here uh, when you do some testing you can keep i think they let you recharge uh, ten dollar minimum i think ten or five dollar that you can check you can add some credits so that uh, this function api will work uh, without any problem next thing is we are building our knowledge base for our uh, ai assistant so that uh, you can go to the file section so here you can have some data is already there uh, let me show you from scratch once again i'm gonna delete this file uh, let me clear everything so that I can uh, show you from scratch the entire process how to set it up. I already created a vector store. Let me delete that also. Yep. Yeah. So now it, it got deleted. Uh, head back to the files. So uh, you can go to create and uh, click on file from files you can upload the file that you want to use as the uh, knowledge base for the ai uh, click on open then it will be like this you can click on save then you will get an option to create also you can go to uh, open AI documents uh, documentation page to see what all the files are supported so we are going to use the pdf type file that is why it is currently supported so you can use uh, any sort of pdf file you can upload it uh, once the file is uploaded you can see um, the file name and all now let's create a vector store so click on vector store by default it will be empty for you the, if there are uh, no vector store that's been created so what you have to do is click on new give a name to your vector store so this is a demo we are gonna call it So let's click on create. Uh, let's click on edit with a typo. So let's update it again. Just wait for to wait for this uh, process to complete because uh, this is live updating on your uh, OpenAI account also. That is why we are making an API call. So here, if you go to files, click on file, you will get an option to add. So add the file that you just uploaded and click on create. And you can close this. So just wait for, uh, if you can click on reload, it will uh, it will be updated. You can see it's, it got updated. So half of the work is already done, the AI part. Now just building an assistant only, that also pretty much easy. You don't need to do anything. It's pretty simple only click on assistant tab you will get an option to create new uh, then by default you will get an option you can select the model that you want so go go for the model that you wish uh, always it will be on the one of the latest model it by default then you can give a name description and instruction instruction where you need to specify how the assistant should behave how, how should it you uh, you know like uh, the nature how it should interact with the customer all this behavior all uh, part of the AI you can define here then you can attach the uh, data store I mean the sorry the vector store for that uh, assistant a API then you can click on create at the moment I already have created one so here you can see this is on uh, I have given an instruction here please use the following document file to answer the quest user questions uh, please keep a friendly conversation and add emojis if needed like that then you can attach the vector store and cl uh, click on update. So this is the part like you have built your AI assistant now. Now only part is just uh, deploying this inside the chatbot flow. 
So one thing you need to see, you will get an assistant ID here. So make sure to copy this ID. It will need it in the inside integration. Now let's head back to the chatbot flow. Here, uh, let me do one thing. Let me delete all and uh, this and uh, let me show you from scratch how you can build it. So uh, we need an action block. So create an action block inside this. We can name it as AI uh, AI block, something like that. Something like that we can call it. So inside the AI block, uh, we can see if you go to integrations, you can find open AI. Just click on it and click on edit action. Uh, in the actions tab, you can uh, find uh, create assistant completion. Just click on that. So this is the uh, assistant API. So uh, we are going to use this, uh, this API now. So click on this. Then here model also uh, we can uh, select version 2 and uh, keep this as uh, enable um, the remember history keep it as yes. Here you need to provide the assistant ID which you just copied. So, so this ID you need to paste it here. Model you can leave as it is because uh, by default you already defined the model. So if you write a new model here it will overwrite. So we don't need that so we can leave as it is. Content is the user input. So you can uh, look for a variable called last test input. Uh, this is a system variable. Whenever a user type any test material or any test content to the chatbot, it will be saved in the variable, in the system variable. So you can use that. Instruction also you can leave it because we already provided. Whatever you type here, it will overwrite. So let's test this either something like we can uh, test this uh, integration block. If you click on hit on the test request button, if there is no errors with OpenAI with your API key, all good, you will get a response like this. As a JSON uh, format, uh, you will get a reply. So map this. This is the response that uh, you are getting from the OpenAI. So map uh, this particular path. Then you can put into any variable that you wish. Like for example, we already created a variable. In your case, you can create a variable name click on and select the format, the uh, variable format, then uh, that variable format will be selected or created. So now we have already have a variable. So we're going to use the same variable AI response. Click on add. Here you can see it is already added and click on make sure to save it. So now the integration is saved. Now we are going to print that on a question block. So we're going to print that in a question block AI response. So once the uh, response is printed, the bot will wait for another response, another response or input from the user. Whenever they type something, then we can loop it back to the same action block. So same AI block. So whenever they type something, it will still go. Uh, it will be in a loop. It will go back to the integration and fetch the necessary information and it will print again. So uh, within uh, it, it hardly took uh, like less than 10 minutes, I believe, to create this kind of automation. Uh, so it's much easier uh, for your business if you want to try something like this feel free to check it out so if you have any questions or if you have uh, any sort of uh, error or any kind of issues feel free to reach out or support we will help you out so i hope this video was informative and uh, yeah feel free to check it out and build an ai for your own business like this thank you